What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Utah Jazz versus Toronto Raptors NBA matchup going down Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. And also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer, the link in the description of this video below. Now, while I do love giving out free picks, if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $15 best bet, check out PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Utah Jazz and the Toronto Raptors. The Utah Jazz coming into this one at 26 and 26 on the year, 29 and 23 against the number this season. After ending up with a 108 to 100 win over the Dallas Mavericks in their last matchup, alternating wins and losses in each of their last five games. Meanwhile, the Toronto Raptors alternating wins and losses in each of their last four, picking up a 114 to 106 loss on the road at the hands of the Phoenix Suns in their last matchup to drop to 23 and 29 on the year and 26 and 26 against the number. Now, the thing about the Utah Jazz is they had a stretch where they looked like they cooled off from from their hot start to the season, but they're back on track now. Winners of six of their last nine games and just playing some solid basketball, especially at home. I mean, that's where a lot of <clears throat> their recent you know success has come. As this uh, Utah Jazz team in their last uh, the last six home game, excuse me, the last seven home games are uh, excuse me, their last nine home games are seven and two. I promise I'll get it right by the end of the video. But uh, you know, you take them out on the road. They've had issues defensively. They gave up 134 to Portland on the road. 125 to Minnesota on the road, but the good news is that Utah back at home for this one. And Utah definitely one of the more improved teams in the NBA. Or should I say they're one of the you know uh, teams that are sort of outdoing expectations and overachieving a little bit, considering that not much was expected from Utah after they made all these moves in the offseason, offloading Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. It looked like it was supposed to be a rebuild, but the Utah Jazz don't seem to know that, at least if you had told them. They're, they're just playing fantastic basketball right now. On the flip side, you got the Toronto Raptors, who have been one of the more bigger disappointments this season in the NBA after so much was expected. After you know Toronto went toe to toe with the Sixers in the opening round last year, they showed some promise in their first full season back in Toronto after the COVID year. And you know, a lot, like I said, a lot of it was expected of Toronto this year, but now they're sitting at six games below 500. Yeah, you, know, you have fans wondering if they're going to blow this team up, and they just haven't been performing all that well. And I just don't expect that to change here on the road either. You know, they've been inconsistent, to put it nicely. And Utah is just has been a, a much more consistent team. I think you're only being asked, you're not being asked to lay too much here with the Utah Jazz, being only being asked to lay around three, three and a half points with the Jazz. <clears throat> just given the defensive, you know, inconsistencies for the Raptors and just, I guess, just the inconsistent performances overall from Toronto on the road, I think they're just waiting to go back home. And even then, Toronto hasn't been a safe haven for the Raptors this season in the win-loss department, so... I'm just going to go with what I know here, and that's that the Utah Jazz have been playing the better basketball, especially on their home floor. Give me the Utah Jazz in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, you can find my best bets at Pick Dogs Premium, and while you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business, and they're tools you'll want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Let's cash some winners.